Where's Anthony? Anybody talk to Anthony? Yeah, he's suspended. Definitely. Well, uh, he's really? doing homework and stuff like that. They've told, from what he told me, they told him not to go to class. I don't know about that. See, now that doesn't make any sense to me. Like you're being serious? Like, yes, yes. Okay. I don't see any reason why he still couldn't come into school. Just because he's not getting paid doesn't mean he can't. Did we go over chapter four? We did go over chapter four, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We need to do five. And then uh, you guys want to take the quiz over four and five today, or you want to wait till Wednesday? Or? I mean, if we do it today, like we can take 15 minutes study afterwards or whatever you want. I don't care if you want to knock it out today or we can do it Wednesday. Should I go over chapter five and then I do it after the, we go over the chapter five? Well, yeah, 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 we go, we're going to go over five and then we did four. Let's go over five and then we can discuss it. How about that? Moose, are you there? Yes. Hi, Moose. Hello. Everybody say hi, Moose. I'm a Canadian. John Robertson. John Jonathan. He's on Zoom. Um, I think everybody else is here. Yep. All right. What are we doing? Chapter five. A DC series motor is frequently operated without a load, develops a near constant speed regardless of the load condition, should never be operated without a load, should never be subjected to a wide variation 
in load conditions. Oh. Should never be operated without a load. Blank is an example of constant horsepower load. Lathe. Motor speed, a motor with a speed of 1800 RPM and a drive pulley that is two inches in diameter is coupled via a belt drive to a load pulley that's four inches in diameter. The speed of the driven load would be. Did I guess? I'm Ron Burgundy? It is 900. It's a two to one ratio. So everybody get that? You'll see a lot more of those type of questions in, uh, I don't remember which class, one of these classes here at ICC. Um, permanent capacitor motor does not require a centrifugal switch, uses an identical Run and auxiliary windings provides improvement of motor power factor. Yes, yes, and yes, all of those. Oh man, I'm tired, fellas. Let's just skip the quiz and take a nap. Somebody hit the lights. Thank you. All right, I have to pause the recording for this because I don't want this to leave this room. Is anybody offended by, hang on, let me pause the recording. What number are we on, Moose? Uh, five? Yep. You're right. <laughs> you had to remind me because I lost track. A squirrel cage rotor consists of which one? Copper wire wound on a round core, permanent magnets, um, C, the third one, single bars short circuited by end rings is the answer you're looking for. A variable. AC motor drive delivers what to the motor? We had a problem with this one, didn't we? A variable AC motor drive delivers what to the motor? Fixed line voltage and frequency, fixed line frequency and variable voltage, fixed line voltage and variable frequency, variable voltage and frequency. The last one, variable voltage and frequency. I don't understand why they, did anybody find that word for word in the book? I don't understand why they put the variable voltage part in there. What has to be proportional? But the thing is, you're simulating a voltage. You're not. You're not just. You're obviously you're variating. You're you're variating. Okay, this is the answer they want. But here's where I have a problem with it. Um, Pulse width modulation, and that's the key because you're simulating a voltage, right? right. If this is uh, 208 RMS, so not peak, like 208 is in here somewhere, right? Everybody been through that RMS stuff. What drives do is they they will deliver a pulse that looks like this, and you'd have to be on Zoom to see what I'm looking at, but. Um, so there'd be like a little tiny pulse like that. And this is like a fraction of a fraction of a second. 
And then they deliver another that looks like this. And it's a little bit wider up here. So it's a little bit longer time. And then one that looks like this. And then one that looks like this. And then one that goes back down to shorter length, right? So the DC pulse that, that it gives is up here at this level. It's like, I don't even know if it's at 208 or above 208, but it's using those pulses so that the motor kind of thinks that you're simulating that AC sine wave. But that DC pulse is actually the same voltage every time. The, the pulse width is being modulated to, to simulate that sine wave. So then what, what the motor sees is something that is like, this if you're on zoom you can see what i'm doing but anyway there's a good i mean there's a good picture of it actually i'm gonna show you and we'll, we'll get more into drives later this semester yeah um maybe i'll go through this powerpoint with you maybe i'll just let you look it over but uh, where is it? How many of you are on? Well, I guess I can see. Um, You can see it great. If not, you'll see it'll be on YouTube later. But uh, let me see if maybe I put it in here. Oh, by varying free by varying motor input frequency and voltage. Maybe I'm just wrong altogether. See that most of it small waves in the The DC pulse, the pulse width is modulated. That DC level coming from the DC bus is is a constant voltage. If I remember right, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just. Oh, textbook schmex book. I'm looking for a graph. Is there a graph on there? This is what I'm looking for. Get freaking textbook out and look, so you guys can all prove me wrong. But this is what I was talking about for those of you that are on Zoom. And I'll look in the book later so you guys can prove your point and I'll be wrong and you'll be right and everybody will be happy. Um, how many of you are on Zoom? What? So based on what you said, wouldn't that have to do with me when you're in pulse width modulation? With what? If, if you have a two-second cycle, one second's at 100 volts, and one second's at no volts, isn't the mean voltage 50? Oh, I, yeah. But that's the thing is, yeah, you are varying voltage from max to zero between there. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what the question is saying, and I'm just I saying. I think that's why they're is saying it uh, decreasing voltage is because it has to do with the impulse. Whoa! We just need some rain. It's drier than popcorn fart out there. 
Okay, if you can see Zoom, if not, check out the recording later. But this is what I'm talking about. Um, this, so this is voltage with respect to time. This level right here, let's call this 210. No, 220. So this is plus 220. Okay, there's a DC pulse going on here. It's very short, and it gets a little longer, and it gets a little longer, and it gets a little longer longer until it's like ah, right and then it starts to go back down what you get rms wise if you put this on a meter or what the a what the what the motor is seeing or feeling as far as that electromotive force is a simulated sine wave so this is what the motor sees it looks like an ac sine wave and then by varying those pulse widths you can make the frequency look different. You can make it look like this, right? Or you can make it even longer like this, just by varying those pulses. So that's how, that's how we vary frequency with the VFD. But anyway, I guess like Jeff's point was that, yeah, you are, you are up here at this, we're calling it 220. We don't know what it is, but and then you're going back down to zero and then you're and then you're um, alternating direction right so then you're at negative 220 for these ones but i guess i guess the book is right and i'm right and everybody's right and let's just be happy and know that the answer they're looking for is varying frequency and voltage yay right nobody else gonna clap and get excited <clears throat> Connor, are you excited? Oh yeah. You're not even paying attention, are you? Yeah, I am. You're you're looking at uh, who's in my mouth I gave him the link. Brian Davis, I got All right. What? Oh my goodness gracious. Screen two. No, I wish. Yeah. Okay. Variable voltage and frequency. A variable AC motor drive is able to operate the motor. All of them at base speed, above base speed, below base speed. Which you wouldn't think uh, above base speed, but really the only thing you're limited by speed wise on a motor, if you're not using a drive, is what Ameren is giving you, right? They're giving you 60 hertz. You don't have a choice. So motor manufacturers build their motors to handle that frequency. Not a good idea to run it at 120 hertz all day long. Did you just fart and break the chair? <laughs> Nothing at all happened. Nothing? <laughs> We're good. You good? All right. Yeah. Remember when you broke my tongue two times? I'm not going to take the heat. I have broken the chair, but that was not one. <laughs> a voltmeter check of a motor should allow voltage within what percentage of the motor's nameplate? 10%. So, I don't know. So, it says in there somewhere, it said like, um, The thing is, this is, um, I don't have a PDF of the newest version, the newest edition, which you guys have. So this might be a little bit different than the one you got in front of you. But let's go take a peek at it. Wow, this is a big file.
149? Yep. So that gets me into chapter six. Oh, well, if you uh, What part? Uh, it's under voltage levels and balance on part seven of motor Should be kept as close as possible to the nameplate volt value, maximum deviation of 5%. Although motors are designed to operate within 10% of nameplate voltage, large voltage variations can have negative effects on torque, slip, current, efficiency, power, temperature, and service life. So what does the question say? Um, a voltmeter check of a motor should show voltage within blank percent of the motor's nameplate voltage. So that seems like kind of a vague question. So did anybody get that wrong? I'm going to, I'm going to make that one extra credit because I don't like the way that it's worded versus what the book says. So should be kept as close with a maximum deviation of 5%. But motors can go within ten percent. So which one is it? Like which one are you? That was that was. I just wanted to get like if I maxed out the field, like I'm going within five percent, right? Yeah, yeah. I would. I would not. I guess what I, I would not hook up a motor if you're outside of five percent. You know. Um, an electric motor uses blank energy and blank energy. Electric and magnetic. Um, just know, so I made that extra credit, but just know on a quiz that that question is still going to want you to say 10. I no oh, there is no five. You're right, I did. Direct coupling of the motor to the shaft driven low results in a what speed ratio? One to one. one, to one. NEC 430.22 requires branch circuit conductors supplying a single motor to have an ampacity not less than what percent of motor FLC? One, 125. What does FLC stand for? Full load current. Um, NEC article what main code source for electric motor installations 430 on a three phase motor the stator windings are arranged to create rotating magnetic field this is where my cool little PowerPoint comes into play you want to see a picture of that rose rotating magnetic field <laughs> Check that out. Whoop, whoop. That don't get your grind, or your gears grinding on the That's what I'm talking about. One advantage DC type motors have over AC types is their speed can be easily varied. Which motor has the highest starting torque of all the single phase motors? Cap start, cap run. The are two basic categories of motors are. ACDC. <laughs> the direction of rotation of a three phase induction motor is determined by phase sequence and I show did I show you guys how reversing the two leads causes the I showed you guys that okay my other class has motors in it too so I want to make sure all right the direction of rotation on a split phase motor can be reversed by interchanging the connections to yeah. say what Yeah, that is. So, so it's either the run wind 
waiting for the runway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. So it's either the run winding or the start running. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The purpose of a commutator on a DC motor. Right. And that goes back to the whole right hand rule left hand rule and then once you reach a certain direction it stops you reverse the current flow and then it keeps keeps the rotation going the series type dc motor has low starting torque low starting current high starting torque both a and c yep high starting torque very good. Shunt type DC motor. Good speed regulation. That's what you said, right? Synchronous speed of a two pole 60 hertz AC motor. Cody got it. What is torque? The rotational force. When a dual dual volt, voltage nine lead Y connected three phase motors connected for high voltage, the individual coils of each phase are connected in series. High voltage series, low voltage parallel. And what kind of torque is a torque produced by a motor functioning at rated speed and horsepower? Full load torque. So here's the thing. Y'all want to know what the thing is? We need to take a vote. If you guys want to knock the quiz out today, we'll take a little time to study and do it today. Otherwise, we'll do it on Wednesday. I'm going to close my eyes for an hour, and then I want you guys to tell me what your decision is. Uh, uh, how many want to just knock it out today? Open book. How many want to wait? Then we're going to wait. If anybody wants to wait, we need to wait. Okay, so we'll do it Wednesday. If you guys want to take a little time to argue about it, I'd be happy to sit here and watch that as well. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, we're gonna wait. So, um, that is, I want to cut you guys loose to do your labs. And so, Moose, that's all for today. Wednesday, um, let's see, what do we need to do? Wednesday, we'll take the quiz. We'll go over a couple, couple components we haven't gone over yet. And then we'll uh, do some more labs. Sound like a plan? Oh, I think I put chapter six homework is due Wednesday. Capiche? Jay? Thumbs up. Thumbs up? All right. Jonathan Robertson gave us a thumbs up. So, Moose, you have a good rest of your day. We're going to go work on labs now. If you heard me, I want to see a heart emoji. Have fun. <laughs> All right. Later, Moose. You gave me a little.